Good morning, everyone. Today is gonna be a show vlog, and guess who I'm taking? By the thumbnail, you already know, Cranberry. It's gonna be her very first show of the 2022 season, so that is gonna be super exciting. Hopefully, we are gonna do the move up in height and try the two foot division, but it just depends because the forecast was kind of rainy and we might just step down and do the 18 inches if the weather is not the best because she is still pretty green. But I am super excited to take y'all along on this show. So I'm now at the barn and the first thing on the list to do is feed all the ponies their breakfast, then get Leo brought in and then we're gonna leave the rest of the ponies turned out. And after that, I'm gonna turn Cranberry out so that she just has about an hour of turnout. So that if she is a little hyper, she won't be. There's Cranberry, there's Fig, who took it upon himself to take a good old nap in the sawdust. So, and he's gonna have fun cleaning that up. And there's little perfect Mimamine. Okay, I'll see y'all in a minute. Before I completely jump into the show vlog, I thought it would be cool to show y'all the lesson about two lessons before I went to the show on Cranberry. I usually just flat before the show, so I'm gonna say this was probably Wednesday and the show was on Friday. We were just prepping with a simple little course. We do this little single. We get a little bit of a close distance to it, but that's all right. We come around to this outside line. I really like her pace, but we are working towards opening up her stride just so that we can aim towards getting more of a division stride because later on it is our goal to hopefully open her up. Here we go to this diagonal single and then we're going to come around and do the diagonal line with the green and white. We jump that one a little big. Cranberry has a huge jump when she gets a really nice distance. And then here we landed our lead so I didn't have to worry about a change. And then we come around to this outside line and she does it quite nicely. She's getting there with her knees. She isn't as straight legged over jumps. It was very concerning when I first started jumping her. That's we have perfect. come a Done. long ways. And I think that ends the course. To the horse show vlog part of this video i decided to school her around before our division and then after i did some walk shot camera work in the field which she was very common considering on the right hand side of the field there are horses in a pasture which is quite spooky especially since she's only four now and here's us just flatten around Here is our first course. We come in with this pretty little trot and then we're gonna pick up our right lead canter. And I think I might have cut parts of my courtesy circle in the next course because it gets a little mundane just watching me do a courtesy circle since the very first jump is in the front of the ring. She gives me a little bit of a tail swish because I'm adding a little leg to get a little more pace. It was our move up to the two foot division, so I was really proud of her. We do get a bit of a chip to this line, so I was a little disappointed with that, but that's okay. She and I are both still learning. I'm still learning what it takes to bring along a green pony, and then she's still learning what exactly she's supposed to do because I have to remember that she's not an old school horse, so she doesn't actually know what her job is she just knows that if I tell her to do this she's supposed to but she is super willing and will try anything here we get our lead change quite nicely I liked that lead change as it was on time for the turn as you'll notice we get a little bit slower towards the gate because she's a lazy pony unlike Lime who just keeps on getting faster here we get a nice distance because our pace is finally moving. I know we get a late lead change on this course because I did not do a good job of asking, so that was my fault. And then we come down this outside line and finish the course out really nice.
this is our next hunter round. We are doing our courtesy circle and we're gonna start off with that pink and orange jump and do the outside line. She was really good, consistent in her pace and I'm so proud of how far she's come. Obviously you can tell my friends are parked on the right so she kind of leaned a little bit to go towards her friends but I think that's something with practice she'll outgrow because she still is only four years old and I finally found out her birthday which is May 5th which is also Cinco de Mayo so that's kind of cute and this is one of the cutest jumps ever that she just did that pink and white and then that one we get the long distance but I still liked it I think we get a late lead change oh we get it right in time I would have liked it earlier preferably and then we go around to this diagonal line and we get a nice distance to it. Again, I feel like this was a smaller two feet because the two feet at home we've been practicing looks way bigger. But anyways, we got around, got our lead, and her pace is so like soothing because Lime and I for the division have to go a little faster. Also, Cranberry is a lot taller than Lime, so she doesn't need as much pace because her legs are so long, she just naturally has a bigger stride. And then there, that was my favorite lead change of the day because it was nice, on time, and smooth. Then I think this is finishing up our courtesy circle and Cranberry's worst I think habit would be wanting to park once she's done jumping like she'll just go into a canter and then I touch the reins and she wants to park and then trot it's really weird I don't know if that's something like you do in raining because it's even when I'm on the flat I had to work with her to say hey when I ask for a walk I'm not asking for a halt from the canter and I also don't I've been working towards having a little bit of a lighter cue because I also think me just pulling on the reins isn't giving her a clear enough cue. Anyways, moving on to our next round. Unfortunately, my mom's phone ran out of storage, so I think I only have this first line and it was so pretty. Anyways, here are the photos that my friends were able to take. They turned out super good. This is, I think, I want to say Claire took these photos that day and the photos turned out super good. This was her first time, I think, photographing equestrian sports, so all of them are amazing. And we ended up taking several thirds and fourths, which I was super happy with for our first time moving up in height. And I'm gonna end this video about after a few photos, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.